And welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. We've got baseball on the show. It's the Washington Nationals and the Milwaukee Brewers. Joined by my partner, Chris Singleton, I'm John Chomby. We're in store for a major league debut in this one, Singy. It remains to be seen what kind of career he'll have, but here's step one, and there's a lot of hope and optimism around him. This organization thinks he can be an impact player. And from what I've seen and heard from people that follow prospects really closely, I do too. We may not see him light the league on fire right from the start as there's usually a learning curve, but I think he has the skill set to be successful at this level for a long time. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. So two down, Nicholas the dude, the up now for the Brewers. Nicholas. He's done a great job making contact recently, working on a five-game hitting streak. Obviously a guy who makes good contact, hits for average, but one of the things in today's game, the value in the fact that he hits both righties and lefties. And ball one. They're so reliant on the matchups nowadays, Chris, and it's huge when you don't have to sit a guy or platoon him. When you can hit, you know, both sides in terms of pitchers' arms, you're a guy that it's hard to take. Well, we'll hold that thought as that's the third out, and we'll end the inning. Scoreless after one. the zone going along. Home team down a run here in the last half of the third. Kicks and deals. Swings through it for the K. Slider got him for strike three. Oh, that right there is just a pitcher's pitch. Tailing away from the hitter, lower away with some good action at the end. You know, even if he gets the bat to that ball, it's probably just a weak ground ball to the opposite side. Tell you what, that's a tremendous two-strike pitch. Lane Thomas. Lane. Thomas measures six feet even, 28 years old. He's been scoring a lot of runs lately. He scored nine times in the last 10 games. Runner on the goal. That's it for a strike. Safe at second, and that was not close. Yeah, I like being aggressive right there with two outs. It's kind of a classic steal situation. You get thrown out, no big deal. That guy at the plate leads off the next inning. Now, a single to the outfield can push a run across. Three. Three. Now that, the second baseman, Nicholas, not two. Gets him to chase after that one. All right, Chris, when you talk about great logos, the Milwaukee Brewers, the M and the B that form a glove, not everyone even realizes that it's an M and a B with that glove. They started using it in 1978 and have been using it a lot more recently. It's a great logo, Chris. Yeah, Boog, I remember as a kid, my brother. Nicholas the dude up now for the Brewers. 
0 for 3 with two flyouts and a strikeout. The other way. Base hit. Terrain. Around third. The throw in. Well done. Drives in the run. To me, it's just a really controlled, balanced swing. He wasn't trying to do too much with it. Just stayed disciplined, got the barrel to the ball, and put it in play. First and second, two down. Up now for Milwaukee, Willie Adamas. The what shortstop else? takes the ball. Consecutive base hits for this team. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. And now it's William Contreras. I'm curious how he decides to attack on the mound. This guy at the plate has been great hitting under pressure this year. Fastball in for a strike, and it's 0-1. in the dirt well done behind the dish traffic on the bases with two already in to score here the bottom of the seven one ball two squirts away a little bit runners hold tight it's a ball and two strikes to miss and he's down on strikes that ends the inning and stops things from getting out of hand they put two on the board on three hits no errors but two are left stranded eighth inning coming up it's the Brewers six and the Nationals three showing in this win singled and knocked in a run not one to put on the personal highlight reel necessarily but certainly didn't hurt him on the way to the win Nicholas the Dude up now for the Brewers. Nicholas the Dude. Swings and blasts one deep to left center. And it one hops the wall. Now he'll turn for second. And he starts his afternoon off right with a double. Man, those are the types of hits where you don't feel any vibration in your hands whatsoever. Such a good feeling. Loud contact leads to the double. I mean, you could tell it had extra bases written all over it as it jumped off of his stick. Man in scoring position with two away. Now it's the shortstop, Willie Adamas. Homered last night, added another hit as well. There's a strike, 95 of that one. Well, they're looking to get on the board first here after that clutch two-out double made this inning interesting. 
Man at second. That one, one not close. One and one. Wouldn't okay, chase that like time. And another ball. Last couple of pitches, breaking balls away. I think he's going to have to come firm inside to be able to open up that location if he wants to go back there later in this count. Two outs. And he walked him. Now, this was a story we were paying attention to before the game. We've seen him give up walks in the past, and it's an issue once again early on. And it's Reese Hoskins up to the dish. This one smashed down the right field line. Thomas grabs it on the run. Brewers strand a couple. We played an inning. No score. The third inning now, Dylan Cruz. The center of the fifth, Dylan, Dylan Cruz. The pitch to the right side. Tosses the first, one up, one down. Good slider inside right there. Batter fighting to get there, just rolled over it, got the ground ball. Three, three, three. Boog, the runner at first needs to be careful right here. He's dealing with the pickoff artist on the mound. Swing and a high fly ball, deep left field. Garrett going back. Makes the catch up against the wall. Milwaukee leaves one. Still no score. Full four. Take your base. Three. Zero. Three. Two years old, and he was a sixth round draft pick back in 2013. Pitch misses there, and it's one and oh. On the ground to the that left, and that's just foul. Ball to strike, the pitch. That one fouled off. One down, base is empty. Comes up empty as he chases that one in the dirt. Catcher has it, fires the first. Got him. Two gone after the strikeout. First strikeout for him in this one. That splitter is maybe the go-to pitch when he's looking for a swing and miss like that. He throws it quite a bit, and that's a good example of the effect it can have on a hitter. Dylan Cruz digging in for the Nationals. Dylan Cruz. Hey, no one down here. Now these guys definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap. But, you know, at the very least, if you could find a way to manufacture that run from first, it feels like it's really important getting back into this ballgame. Maybe a two ball. Five. 
Four. Out three. And they turn the double play. As a former player, watching 5 4 3 double plays brings back some adrenaline. It's such an exciting play, and it's always a great. Nicholas the Dude, the next to hit, one for three. The second baseman, Nicholas the Dude. In the air to left, down the line. And no one can get to it. It's a foul ball. Well, if he's going to steal second, you want him to go early in the count. That way he's not a distraction to the hitter at the plate. Go ahead and get it out of the way so the hitter can focus on the pitch. And that's a fair ball. Throw in holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two away. The nice line drive to the pull side throw. right there, but he didn't really? spin off of it. That's the key. You still have to extend through the baseball in order to hit a line drive like that. Willie Adamas stands in. Sliced hard, but foul. Just missed. Double barreled action in the bullpen. Mason Thompson appears to be getting loose. Raining, getting loose as well. Here's a 1 1. Bounced out to short. Wide throw, and it gets away. So you're already down in the game, and that error puts you even further behind. Just can't let it compound from here, though. You've got to flush it, get ready for the next one, make a play, get back in the dugout. And the batter now is Reese Hoskins. Swing and a miss. Strike one. All one's the count. The pitch, steal. double steal. Foul ball there. He's going, he's going. One ball. Hey. Throw to third. Too late. Save. Double steal. Well, sometimes stealing third base can be tough, especially if that shortstop or second baseman are making some noises, moving towards the back, try to make you think that you've got to stay close. Well, they didn't do a very good job of that. Get a comfortable lead, got a great jump, and that's how you steal third base. Cut on and miss. Struck him out. Good job at damage control right there. Two men left stranded, but they do push across one. We look ahead to inning number eight. It's the Brewers five and the Nationals nothing. Digging in for the Nationals. That's to third, and that chance handled. One at second, and that's two. 
Well, that's a huge ball in play to get the double play defensively. Just one more guy to get this save for the closer. The dude did not have a banner showing in this one. I'm sure they're glad they got the win, but if he's going to be a driver for their offense, he needs better days than this. Some good signs in this one, though. The final line score for our ball game this afternoon for the Victoria Cruz. Five runs on nine hits. No errors. They left 11 runs on base. For the Nationals, three runs on nine hits. One error. They left 17 runners on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and three minutes. So two down, Nicholas the Dude up third. now for the Brewers. The second baseman. He's been tearing it up Nicholas. at the plate recently. Currently owns a seven-game hitting streak. <laughs> and first offering is fouled off. And today is draft day, singing an exciting day in terms of the future of the sport and the future of these teams. It's also changed a lot in terms of the immediacy of finding out. I mean, what was it? Carrier pigeon was how you found out <laughs> about being drafted back when you were selected, right? Well, fans today may not realize because we have, you know, such exposure on the Internet and, and network sports and everything else. You find out right away. But when I was drafted back in 1993, I maybe found out, you know, later in the day, I was drafted in the morning, that I was drafted by the San Francisco Giants. So regardless, I think the feeling is the same. No matter whether you find out right away or you find out a day later, you're just so excited to have been drafted by a professional baseball team and have the opportunity to pursue your dream. Swings and misses. And a nice inning of work there as he sets him down. One, two, three. Brewers go down quietly. Scoreless after one. So the Nets lineup turns now over. And now the shortstop, Nassim Nunez. Nunez. Well, the best way to shake off yesterday's struggles is to get on the board early. They've got a guy in scoring position. They've got to find a way here to get him in. The one-two. On the ground right side, the dude. In plenty of time to first. That ends the frame. So the Nats leave a pair. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Swing and a ball popped up. And makes the grab. And there are two down. Up next in the walk off. Not shortstop. Willie. A dump. Three. 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 Perfect. Now the pitch. Second base. Nicholas. 
Way oh, high there. Good. Ball one. Well, all eyes on the double play ball in this spot. No better way to get out of this inning. Rip towards third. They get the tag on him. What a double play that was. Inning over. So no runs on two base hits. No errors and one man left. Five innings complete. It's the Nationals five and the Brewers three. Base is loaded. Nobody out. Riley Adams digging in for the Nationals. Hey, we got no one. Going to now. On the ground, two ball. The dude over to second, and a run scores on the double play. It's always great when you can add a run, but in this situation with the bases loaded, double play is kind of a rally killer. He's always a threat. Even if this guy is 0 for 3 for the night with three strikeouts, he can come up that fourth time and do damage because he's that good. Wait for your pitch up there. And here it comes. And first offering is fouled off. Well, the game plan for this offense has been pretty clear. They're being aggressive at the plate, but still finding ways to pick their spots without falling into the habit of being over-aggressive. Five hits for them on the first pitch alone, so they're swinging and connecting right out of the gates. Kicks and fires. This one smoked out to left. Garrett makes the grab. And a quick out number one. And of course, sometimes you need to be patient as an offense and let the pitcher come to you. But you can't. Base is full to block. Nicholas the Dude up now for the Brewers. There's a swing and a drive. Cruz going back. Grabs it right up against the wall. So they strand three and leave them loaded. Through eight full, it's the Nationals 10 and the Brewers 5. Total team effort using six pitchers in this ball game to get the win. Outstanding job of passing the baton. The next pitcher stepping up and getting it done. You got to give them a lot of credit because this is not easy to do. We'll see how it affects them over the next couple of days. The final line score for our ball game this afternoon.